Hello and welcome back. My name is Gwilix. Thank you for joining for another episode for Hogwarts Legacy. Last time we went into the restricted section and we are still there. So our good friend Sebastian, you know, covered up us. And let's see what we are having today to do and what we are experiencing today. So we are still here in the restricted section. And we also learned a new spell. And that is the invisible spell. And that is pretty cool. So we can now also open like this chest with the eyes, you know, so we can sneak on. Anyway, uh, but our inventory is full. So I think we should go to um Hogsmead and selling some stuff. Uh, I have to think about how, how I get get out of here. You know. But before we go into him to Professor Fig, let's see if we can uh jump to Hogsmead. Yes, let's do that. Because it would be really too bad if we would open some chests and we cannot take some items with me. What are you up to now? All right, here we are. Oh, oh, this was forbidden forest. I didn't want to come here, but is there no other way? Nope. Oh, here we go. Sorry, my bad. Jump in into the city itself. Hogsmeade, here I come. Yes, here we are. Um, let's see what kind of shops we have. Uh, let's go to. Which one was pretty cool? This person here. Okay. Go down to this guy. Hey! Oh, that was a big jump. All right, let's go in here. Hello there. Come on. Hey, in. what's up? Plenty to look at here. All right. Yeah, let's sell this. Sell. Okay, let's see what we can still wear. Because we got some Let me good know if items. there's anything else I can do to help. Um, let's see. Let's go to the gear. Okay. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's wear this one. The legendary. Here, wow! Look at this. This is good. Some, some good stats. Okay, we can. Let's get these glasses. Very nice. This head, perfect. All right, let's see if we. Let's sell his other stuff. This person here. Let's talk to let's him again. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, this is nothing what I have on. So that's, that is pretty good. That's pretty convenient. Let's 
What's happening with this? Why I cannot sell this? I can. All right, perfect. So our inventory Let me know if should anything be else I can do to help. empty now. With the slots, I'm I'm not quite sure yet how we look at this. I know our inventory is also here, but that is quite empty. Okay. Let's talk to him again. Let's look at what we have, shall if we? If we actually can buy something. Jumping to the spellcraft. Unlock the ability to go to a pot potting table with a medium pot. Hmm. I want to hold on before we actually buy this. Let me know I don't, if there's I'm anything else sure I can do to help. What, we, what is good and what is not good and how to use it. All right. What is here? Oh, we can. Revelio. How was it? Okay. It's nice. Here, no. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I should imagine she'd always have all right, let's go one time more in, Just let and me then we're done. Just let's sell this other cloth here. What we have? Oh, uh, is it better? Oh boy. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Quite sure why this is better. Two, not trade applied. Trade slot level two. But it has to be a difference, right? Uh, not sure. Let's keep it. Okay, let's go back to Hogwarts and talk to talk to Professor Wick. All right, let's walk to Professor Fig classroom. But he has something good for us. Oh, it is. Here we are. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, 
dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Okay, what will you tell them about Mr. Rosrick's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Yeah, that sounds great. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. All right. That turned out pretty well. What well, was a chest? Defending Hogsmeade against trolls. You know there is such a thing as trying too hard. Oh. Meet me in Lower Hogfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay. Top the map. Outside of the castle. All right. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Will do. Um, let's see the um, the quest. What we have? Let's go. Let's do her apology class first. Let's go over. Revelio. All right. Almost there. She Here we are. Just onion again. Good 
morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Garlic. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Hmm. Very interesting. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. It's pretty easy. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs... The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Oh. Okay. Collect that some wheat. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Yeah, Let's that's see nice. How to balance my star thistle arrangement? Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. All right. Uh, okay. Seems like there is a potting tip here. These restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. The leaves of the nickel herb are used in Wiganweld potion. Then it seeds can be purchased at the magic neem and can be grown in pots of any size. Grow time, 10 minutes, small plant. Okay. Well, let's let this grow. Well done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. 
you'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. All right. Revenge. Bell. Let's take this one. Metal sweet leaves. Oh, what is in here? Can't open that yet. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But okay. your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Appreciate that, Excuse man. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. Weak Gryffindors fight with honor. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. What dummy? Huh? I don't know what to do with the holy seal inside the Chinese. Come and then tap, tap to assign the tool. Oh. Look at that. They can't chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. Oh, that's <laughs> Mom pretty cool. Mum planted her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? Huh. My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. All right. Let's take it. Oops. Let's take another class here with her. Reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Is it I see if it's done. Here. Oh, yeah, Terrible five minutes left. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. All right. Level 10. We've the made it. The are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damn hearing. What is going on here? Maybe we can some buy some pots and just put them in here. Revelio. 
chest. Some money. Alright. Did you know that you can use the Mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Yeah, guys, to doing Have you. Have ever had a cauldron leak? I didn't think it was possible, and then one minute I was stirring, and the next I was swimming in Wolfsbane potion. A shark almost threw his wand at me, I swear. Turned out I got a bill by blood. Revelio. All right, good guy, Paige. Got that already. Okay. I think. We are done here. People who vote are insecure. Let's open the map and maybe we can still meet her. Or we to go into potions class. Yeah, yeah, let's do this. Let's go to potions class. Let's see where it is on the map. It's just around the corner. Okay, we can walk. There's also something here. Oh, cool. Oh, well, that's that's also. Hello. First. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do All come right. and find me if you stumble on something in Hello, Lenora. Could you remind me what's so special about that empty painting? Oh. It's not necessarily special, as far as I can tell. It's some sort of puzzle that I'm trying to work out. Have a look if you're of a mind. Perhaps you can spot a clue that I've missed. Okay. She said Lumos. Revelio. Okay. Let's do Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Akio! The moth stopped. Perhaps I need to keep casting Lumos on it. Oh. Okay. Lumos. Let's bring it back. Here we go. Ha! Here I we knew are. There was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Nice. I hate transfiguration if it wasn't for you. Let's finish 
this, maybe get something. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Meat, although he does tend to overexplain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! But I should didn't get anything? Oh, yeah, we got something. We got a new jacket. Jacket is pretty good already. See, this is not what, what I don't understand. Legendary. This is legendary, and it's that one is way better. Okay, let's go to the class now. That's what we actually want to do before we got distracted. Right. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Potion. Lumos. Revelio. Hello. Okay. Pick up some stuff here. Oh, yeah, we don't need this right now. Okay. Start. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time round. All right. Uh... 
My parents considered keeping me home from school this office. year after the rumors. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office. Yeah. He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I'll get you the Fooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. All right. Keep your potion. Here's the feather. Look at that thing. Anything else? There. X. What he got here? What has he got? All right. Prepared, witch or wizard. Let's Always give it to him. There's a few potions on hand. Here's the fopper feather you wanted. Brilliant. Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. All right. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? Wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Uh, a Duras potion. Twenty seconds. One bottle. Nice. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. Go and back. now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. No, no. It's What's happening? Dura's potion. Revelio. Wait. It's not supposed to. Ah. Oh boy. Oh. Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be point My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. There, I don't think so. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I don't know what you mean, man. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. All right. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. 
potion class completed. Revelio. I hear something still here. I cannot see it. It's finished. Can you see it? Cannot see it. Okay, let's go to him. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. I thought it was quite funny. Revelio. Oh, my robes are going to reap from think inspiration. All right. I, find it I think that's it for right now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.